Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom description, also a custom picture for your map, and um, another custom picture right here that'll also show when you're loading into your map. So the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, you don't actually need unturned open for this. So uh, actually you will need to restart it after uh, you have done these changes. But um, pretty much you're going to want to browse to your unturned uh, folder where it is installed. And within this folder, uh, hopefully you guys know how to get here already. If you don't, um, definitely, uh, I've made tutorials on that. And yeah, you'll definitely need to know how to get here. But you're going to want to go into your maps folder. Now, don't be confused. The maps backup and the maps to test were both created by me. You will not have them. So if that folder looks a little different, you know, yours could be a little different. So anyway, within this maps, um, what you want to look for is you're going to look for your name of the map. And I've, I've got a lot here. But uh, let's just use PEI, for example, because the nice thing about PEI is it has all of those already in place. So, starting with the description, um, you're going to want to open up this English.dat, and it's a .dat file, and if you have uh, Notepad++, or note, just regular Notepad, you can open it with that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to open it with Notepad, because obviously with Notepad++, it's right there. So, if you want to open it with Notepad, uh, click the Open With. Come on. And it should pop up a box right here and you're gonna to want to go to more options obviously I'm doing Windows 8 but it will do something similar for all other versions of Windows so you're going to, want to scroll down till you find notepad or notepad plus plus whatever your preferred is and then it'll open up in notepad so once inside this document or dot dat file I guess you'll see a couple things uh, you'll see this right here uh, this is actually all on one line uh, it's actually quite a lot better if you look at it inside of Notepad++. So it's all on one line, and uh, you've got lines 3, 4, 6, and 7 with these things on them. So this is when you're joining a world. Uh, when you're running this map and you're joining the world, uh, you'll see either secure or insecure, and you'll see either these when starting or loading the editor and stuff like that. So you can customize you know what people see when loading into the maps in the v various ways also this is the description so pretty much if I wanted to change this I could I'm not going to uh, I will on a test map and you'll be able to see the changes so that's where you find the description in the uh, uh, English.dat so that's pretty simple um, now to find the two pictures that you're going to need there's uh, one is located in level so I've got these automatically opened with uh, GIMP, which is a really nice um, free photo editor. So uh, on level dot uh, PNG or something, I think it's a PNG. Doesn't really matter. Just you don't want to open up the level uh, dot dat. Just this other, yeah, it's a PNG. So pretty much whenever somebody is going to play your game, they'll see this as they're loading in. And yeah, so that's that's a that place for that. And also, if you open up icon.png, I have it opened here as well. Actually, I have two of those. Um, this is going to be the icon for what your map looks like inside the uh, menu for if you're going to pick it or not. So that's what that looks like as well. So of course, you can just go into there and change this and do whatever you want. And I'm actually not going to do this for PEI because it's PEI. I don't want to mess it up because I didn't make it, but I will do this with uh, another map of mine. Alright, so now that we found out where those are located, let's uh, apply those to one of our maps just so I can show you that it does work. So I'm going to open up this in a separate um, folder, and let's go to Test Military. That's the one I'm going to be working on. So as you can see, I'm actually missing the pieces that are required to uh, have the description and those two pictures that go along with your map. So I'm missing the level.png, so I'm going to select all of these. I'm missing the icon and the english.dat. And so I actually need to copy those from PEI and paste those into here. 
Now, of course, uh, these are going to be the ones that are used by PEI, and I actually don't want those. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go into both of these pictures. Um, I'm going to open those both up in GIMP. I'm also going to have to edit uh, English.dat as well. So let's do the description first. So as you can see, um, we have this part of the description that is the actual description, and then we have this description word. We need the description word and a space to actually start our description, otherwise it won't realize that what we're typing is actually the description. So let us uh, do this. So I'm just going to say custom description, and that will be our description. And then uh, one more thing, I, I want to leave these the same because they are actually kind of important to let people know, you know whether they've got a secure connection or an insecure connection or whether they're loading a server or the editor so but I'm gonna change the name of this to match the map I've got so test military double L there we go so I'm gonna do that and that should be all I want to change so I'm just gonna save that and exit out that should be all I need for the English dot dat for the description let us change these pictures so pretty much what I'm gonna want to do is I'm just gonna color them one color uh, let's say a red just for the sake of time I'm gonna want it to be solid not there we go and I'm actually not gonna save them as a dot XCF because that's the default so I'm just overwrote the icon dot PNG um, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to close without saving because I already overwrote it. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And pretty much, guys, however you want to edit these is going to work. Doesn't really matter. You can use, you know, you can use uh, paint if you want. So uh, theoretically, if I did this correctly, which I'm very sure I did, uh, it should all work. So let us test this out. So now as I try to load into the world, um, I should see uh, loading into test military. I should see the background red image. I should also see um, the description when I go into single player and I should see the custom icon. So as we see already, um, since that's automatically selected, test military is here. We got the custom description here. We also have the custom text uh, test picture here. And when we play and load this up, we should see loading test military at the bottom. Also, uh, if you go into your menu, let's see, which one? If you press uh, escape, it should say test military on single player number one, VSC insecure. So, pretty much, uh, that's how it's done. Uh, it's, you know, decently simple, kind of complicated at the same time, copying over you know the correct uh, items that you need and then editing them which with whatever way preferred uh, if you guys actually are having trouble installing either GIMP or Notepad++ which I use um, please tell me I can do a tutorial on that it's really simple anyway and yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching uh, please like the video if you learned something or enjoyed it um, please uh, subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you all